Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your preview to Burnley versus Manchester United in the Premier League. Kickoff time in the UK, 8 p.m. live on TNT Sports, a Saturday night game, 8 p.m. kickoff. Wow, very unusual time, but this is the lineup I go in. In goal, Andre Onanet. Now, he's in under a lot of criticism after that. Howler he made against Bayern Munich, what made Leroy Sané score the opening goal. Look, mistakes happen, you know, and De Gea made plenty of mistakes, so just move on and hopefully Onana can put it behind him. We need to get behind him. We signed a new goalkeeper for a reason. We wanted a new goalkeeper who could do long kick out switch De Gea wasn't capable of doing that but one thing I loved about that De Gea he was a good shot stopper but if I had the choice I would have kept De Gea as backup then we could have seen who was the best goalkeeper on Onana or down De Gea letting De Gea go was just what total disrespect honestly but I back Andre Onana all the way and I want him to succeed. So let's see what happens. Right back, Diego Delo, who had an absolute superb game against Bayern Munich, in my opinion. Centre backs are Sandro Martinez, Rafael Ferran, because he's fit now. I'll put him straight back in the team as he didn't feature in the Champions League game. Just put him straight back in the lineup. Left back is Sergio Reglion, who had an absolute epic game against Bayern Munich. I gave him man of match. If you've not checked out my player ratings yet, please do, because I get Sergio Wrigley on man of match. Not sure if you say Sergio Wrigley on or Serge Wrigley on, but anyway, yep, he got my man of match. Central defense had failed Casemiro. Now, I don't reckon Casemiro's seen great recently, but... He's still one of my favourite players. Then in the midfield, Ericsson, Bruno Fernandes, Palistere, Marcus Rashford, and Razas Hoyland. Yes, that's the lineup I go with now. Manchester United has simply got to win this game. Otherwise, the backlash we will face will be absolutely unreal. If we lose this one and Burnley get their first win of the season, things are going to get real ugly and Eric Ten Hag is going to be under real pressure. Obviously, Burnley had a tough start, you know, life back in the Premier League with Henson's company. I mean, Henson company as a player at Manchester City, I had big respects to him. So, I believe he can still keep it Burnley up in the Premier League, but... Performances that got to improve for Burnley. It's as simple as that. But hopefully they do not do it against my team, Manchester United, because we desperately need to win. We really do. We are 13th in the Premier League table, which that is nowhere near acceptable for a club in this magnitude. And also, it was the first time since the 1970s that we conceded three goals and three games in a row which that's just totally unacceptable i mean like i said lose this one then the press and the media the fans are all going to be on eric ten hogs back i still back eric ten hog on the way but if we are still in this situation come about december time then i think i will have to turn to eric ten hog out. I mean, I don't want him to get sacked, so, but like I've been saying, I do worry player power has won over. Because even though we put up a good, spirited performance against Bayern Munich, defensively, we are shambolic. Yes, I know we got Aaron Wan-Bissaka out and Luke Shaw out, but there are no excuses. Our squad is still capable of fulfilling them roles. Honestly, it's just no excuses whatsoever. Come on, Manchester United. You are better than this. Burnley, obviously, I don't know much about their top players because I've hardly seen them. But Manchester United desperately need 
to get back to winning ways. I mean, there were positives against my Munich, but the negatives just couldn't stand. And obviously, Onana making that howler. I mean, Onana, he's great kicking out with his feints, but from that close range, you cannot be beaten on there. I'm sorry. You just cannot defend that in any shape or form whatsoever, and I will not defend it. I called it out. That's why I only gave him a four in the player ratings. Even though he did make some very good saves in the game, I still called him out for that shit. Because that's what I do on my YouTube channel, you know. I don't hide behind the fence. I show no favoritism whatsoever. Look at De Gea, one of my favorite players. How many times did I call him out when he made a mistake? It's just, on my YouTube channel, there's no favoritism. You don't perform, you get called out. It's as simple as that. And some of the performances on these players have been shocking. Christian Eriksen looks like his legs are gone, sadly. Bruno, non-existent against Bayern Munich. And also, Rashford's very isolated, but he's got to be doing more. It's as simple as that. My score prediction for this one... I'm going win a 2 1 victory to Manchester United because unfortunately I think it will concede. But you know how poor Manchester United have been. You just have to say that they should get a result in this game. But the way the team's been playing, it's like there's no guarantees whatsoever. Obviously, Ten Hag, he needs this win just to get the press and media. And the fans off his back. Because we had a great season last season. You know, top four, won a trophy. But obviously, we had a little help getting top four last season. Because how poor Liverpool were, Tottenham were, Chelsea nowhere. So, I mean, Liverpool got good near the end of the season. But it was too little, too late for Liverpool to really catch us up. But, yeah, I mean, Manchester United are just... Let's show some fights. All I want to do is show some fights. I mean, just, there's been hardly any fight recently on this scene. And seeing this Premier League badge, I want us to be roaring like this Premier League badge on my shirt. And get us moving out the table and get us back to more familiar positions. Because this is nowhere near acceptable. I mean, 13th place, that is just absolutely pathetic and if we don't win this game and we lose this that's four defeats from six opening matches i mean that is relegation form if burnley win this game you would have to consider us in this very moment in time in a relegation battle i don't think for one second we will go down i know i said last season after we got hammered by brentford uh, sorry, Prince, in the EFL Championship badge on the shirts, but that was the biggest overreaction ever because we still got top four that season. But we won't see getting top four in this season. We're just we're nowhere near the same team as what we were last year. Maybe just a couple wins to try and kick on or something. Try and lift the spirits up, man. It's just ah, oh, it's not good in the Manchester United camp at the moment, and. I want them to do well for my granddad's sake, you know, because as I said in my last video, he's not feeling so good right now. And it's obviously going to make things worse, you know, for his mood and that if Manchester United are playing badly. I mean, thankfully, it doesn't get to him where me, you know, I go on a right rant because it's, it's who I am, you know. When my football team do bad... I get very emotional about it. There's no shame in it. It's just who I am, you know. We're all different, you know. We all have our differences, how we cope with things. So, yeah, when we're on this bad run, it, it really gets to me. It really does. But, yeah, comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply, we have to get the three points. There are no excuses. Just come on, Manchester United. Go out there. And get a victory. We need this. We just need some positive vibes. Please. Just to lift a dark cloud. What is hanging over Manchester United. That needs to be lifted. 
and the team needs to get back in a good place again. We can do it, but no matter how the shit things get, I am always behind this team. This badge means everything to me. Bye bye. Join me on Saturday for a match reaction. Well, first of all, for a pre match YouTube short video, match reaction late on Saturday, and then Sunday, a player ratings. And yeah, then Monday, a preview to the Carabao Cup game. There are loads of videos to come on this channel. And please subscribe to my football channel. I'll link that in the description of this video. Bye-bye.